Hello, good afternoon, and welcome again to EMC Live 2018. It is coming up on 2.30 on the East Coast of the United States. I'm Graham Kilshaw with Interference Technology. We are the presenters of EMC Live. Thank you to everybody for participating again in this year's uh, fifth event of EMC Live. We've had some great presentations so far, and we have another one coming up for you momentarily, plus a full day of presentations tomorrow. So check back to the EMC Live website to see if you've missed anything. Our next presentation is a product demonstration brought to you by ITG Electronics. The title is Impedance Impact on Common Mode Chokes with Different Winding Techniques and Wire Shapes. It will run approximately 10 minutes, followed by a brief question and answer session. And if you'd like to ask your questions as we go along, please simply use the Q&A panel on the left of your screen. You can also download a copy of the PDF of the slides of the presentation today directly from the audience console in front of you. And our presenter this afternoon is Mr. Ricky Chang, who comes to us from Los Angeles. Ricky is the field application engineer at ITG Electronics. He received his MSEE from California State Polytechnic University in Pomona, and he has over five years in magnetics design. So, without further ado, we're very pleased to turn over the presentation to, to you, Ricky. Okay. Thank you for the introduction. My name is Ricky Chen. Today, we are going to reveal something about Kamomo Chode with design of uh, different writing techniques and different wire shape. Um, we will talk something about regular noise and electrical noise. The um, electromagnetic interference, common mode and differential mode noise, the common mode show descriptions and its functions, and also common mode filter descriptions and its effect. We would also talk about uh, the general and inductive impedance. Then we will see some comparisons of common module impedance between the different writing techniques, different writing locations, and different wire shape. We would also see the fat wire introduction with a compression conclusion. Noise is an unwanted, loud, or confused sound which is meaningless but disruptive to hearing. There are typically two different types of noise, the acoustic noise and electrical noise. Acoustic noise is any unwanted sound or vibrations that is audible to human ear and or tangible right touch. The electrical noise is by literal definitions not particular audible or discernible by tactile interference with the components or equipment. To further explain uh, the electrical noise, it is not audible to the human ear, even in high-end audio equipment. Actual electrical noise is not audible, but it is in fact on uh, Analog audio outputs is audible as distortion at many or just certain frequencies. The noise itself requires a special uh, test equipment to detect, analyze, and define. By standard definitions, electrical noise is any unwanted vibrations in an electrical signal. In fact, all circuits have some inherent electrical noise depending on the uh, circuits or system. Electrical noise may be acceptable within certain limits. The picture shows that a combination of signal and the noise together and the output as a signal plus noise. Now we'll talk about EMI. EMI falls under the category of electrical noise a basic change of state, such as on, off, in an electronic component has the potential to journal EMI. Typically, uh, examples such as uh, elect electronic switch plugs, electronic controls, power supplies, inverters, or fluorescent lights, and motor plugs, etc. 
the EMI noise can be either radiated through the air or conductive to the power line, which includes common moon noise and the definition moon noise. Common moon noise is a signal transferring between all the noise in the same direction to the ground in a circuit. And the definition moon noise is a signal conducting between the noise and the ground in opposite directions. Common modules in theory are made up of a signal core with two identical coils which are rounded around the core in different directions. It is primarily used to fill in electromagnetic interference from the power supply noise. This can help to prevent electronic equipment in an AC circuit from malfunctioning. The common module is in fact a bifunctional filter, which means it's used to filter out the common mode electron electromagnetic interference and the suppress itself not sending out electromagnetic interference. The two pictures shows how our common module looks like and the electro electronic symbols of our common modules. Here we can see some pictures of different kinds of common modules. To further understand how our common module functions, as the picture shows, when the currents entering the common module in opposite directions, they produce two magnetic fields in the windings to cancel each other. The trails then presents very little inductance or impedance, and the core will not separate even with large input currents. On the other hand, if the currents entering the common module in the same direction, the two magnetic fields are adding together to provide a very large inductance or impedance which will play in a role in suppressing common mode noise. Here is how our common mode filler works. When our common mode trail is being designed to end as a circuit filler, it engineers the, the energy down to a given frequency, which reduces the unwanted noise entering the road. The trolls then produce a large inductance. This fills out the common mode noise only, but allowing the differential mode, the different modes of signals to pass through the filler. Here we will see why we want to use common mode filler. The left picture uses two single trolls as a filler. It does fill out the noise but also distort the signal. When switched to our common mode filter on the right, we would get our non-distortion signals after the noise is being filtered out. Here are some pictures showing the applications of common mode show adding as a filter. Now we want to talk about impedance. Impedance is the AC equivalent to a concept of resistance in DC. It is a comprehensive expression in forms of opposition to electron force, including both resistance R and V at an X. It presents in all circuits and in all components. The reactance could be inductive or capacitive. When the alternating, the alternating current goes through the impedance, a voltage drop is produced and is somewhat between zero and 90 degrees of the phase with the current as the picture showed. Impedance is mathematically symbolized by the letter Z and is measured in the union of Ohm. It is calculating in complex form of resistant R plus reactant Jx.
in calculations, the actual value of impedance Z equal to square root of resistance square plus variance square. When AC pass through the component that contains reactants, energy might be stored and released in the form of magnetic field, in which case the reactant is inductive. All energy might be stored and released in the form of electric field, in which case the reactant is capacitive. So when the net reactant is inductive only, Xz equal to zero, and z equal to square root of resistance square plus xl square. Where xl equals two pi fl, and z becomes the inductive impedance. In the following page, we would like to talk about some comparisons between different writing techniques, different writing locations, and one wire, fat wire commutator. We would like to see if there's any performance change between them, and we would also compare the traditional T core with rectangular fat wire commutator. So let's okay, starting with winding techniques. Here we are showing a few different winding techniques: a single layer, multi-layer, and a cross winding. They all use with one copper wire with diameter of 0.8 millimeters and 22 times. And they all come out with similar inductance, DCR, and parasitic capacitor. Both the single layer shows the lowest leakage inductance with highest self resonant frequency. The cross winding also shows higher self resonant frequency. But this technique is hard to find and not comparable with machine winding. From this impedance rise frequency curve, it shows that the single layer and the cross winding have similar results. Both are better than the multi layer. And again, single layer has lower leakage inductance. And it's machine writable, which the cross writing is not. Now we want to see if, the, if we're running on different locations, affects the uh, result. With our rectangular core body, if we're writing in the long side and also comparing to the short side writing. Here's the electrical result. With the same one wire of 0.4 millimeter diameter and 48 terms. Their results are very close to each other, but the short side writing gave a higher leakage inductance and was more difficult to write comparing with the long side writing. The curve shows both long side writing and short side writing have a very similar result. And the short side writing actually comes out with a little higher self resonant frequency. But don't forget that it also gives a higher leakage inductance. Here we can see two identical rectangular core bodies, one wire of 0.4 millimeter diameters on the left comparing to a fat wire on the same cross section area on the right. They are both 48 terms. The electrical result shows that fat wire winding comes out with a little higher leakage inductance. But it also shows that lower DCR and less than half parasitic capacitance. The self resonant frequency is more than double the one wire. From the curve, we can see a big jump in the self resonant frequency for the fat wire rise to one wire. It shows that the fat wire will offer superior noise suppression performance at higher frequency.
is a table, a data table, shows the fat wire offers the highest frequency with the highest impedance. In this page, we would like to also talk about how the rectangular core body with fat wire comparing with the traditional T code with wrong wire. From the mechanical result, the rectangular core body is overall smaller sizes. Its footprint area is much less than the T core common mode, which can save almost 40% on the PCB layout. And it also shows that it has a low profile, which shows which save 25% of the height. So the total volume can save over 54%, and the fit wire common module is about 1.2 times the power density of traditional T code. From the electrical result here, we can see at the same levels of inductance, fit wire common module offers lower DCR and higher current level. The curve shows that the fat wire with rectangular core body offers, the high, offers higher frequency with the higher impedance than the traditional T code with one wire too. After a few comparisons, it tells us that the fat wire winding common mucho is the best. Here we would like to see some other benefit of the fat wire common modules. The fat wire common module is fully machine bindable. It is high precision and competitive cost. It is single layer winding technique, lower skin effect, and higher performance at higher frequency. The lower plastic capacitance drive higher impedance. It offers lower DCR, better thermal performance, and its higher power density, base saving up to 50%. It is higher reliability, longer product life than product lifetime expectations. This page shows some pictures in different angles of the fat wire combo module with a rectangular core body. In conclusion, we can see the impedance becomes much more important in the combo module designs at higher frequency. By looking at a number of different winding techniques and fat wire wires around wire, we can tell that the fat wire combo module with the rectangular core body offers the best performance. Thank you for the uh, coming to the presentation. Thank you, Ricky. Uh, very informative presentation. Um, we do have a few questions, but unfortunately we are out of time for this presentation uh, today. Mm -hmm. So those folks that posted questions, we will get answers to you directly from the ITG team. Um, so please check the EMC Live website for more presentations tomorrow. Thank you for registering for this presentation. Thank you to Ricky and ITG Thank Electronics. You. And uh, we will see you again tomorrow at EMC Live 2018. Bye for now. Okay. Thank you. Bye.